What's up, y'all? Turn this down a little bit. Yeah, now this going this is one of the final videos that I was telling y'all about that I'm going to go ahead and stop publishing out here as this year closes out. I figured out the what I've been using Facebook since 2010. That is about that's a good 12 years. That's enough time, you know. And to be honest with you, I myself am done with social media and I'm going to focus more on my artwork. I'm focusing more on my artwork and trying to take care of other personal goals that I got going on right now. So really, Facebook, social media, you know, most of the stuff don't even serve a purpose anymore. You know, one of the things I can say after 12 years of being on, you know, social media, Facebook, it's kind of like a mixed bag, you know, because I, yeah, true, I ran across a couple of people that I hadn't seen in a while and I kept in contact with family who tried to keep in contact with me. Outside of that, I could say that, uh, you know, it really didn't do anything for me as an artist, you know. I have a lot of people on here that watch my art. I don't know if they're watching it. I don't know if they support it or not, but it's not ranging out like what I wanted to. So one of the things that I'm going to do now is focus on becoming more of an artist. <clears throat> you won't be seeing much of Anson or Israel or whatever you know me as. You're going to see more of... APX01 and AP from the Apex Minder. You'll probably see more of that now. You're not gonna see I'm not gonna make myself available for a lot of people now and shutting down my Facebook page is one of the one, one of the first steps that I'm taking. Thing is also normally I shut down a Facebook page and then I come back with a new page. But this right here is the final hurrah. I don't see myself coming back to you know social media in no time soon. I'm not gonna say never, cause you never say never on something so simple. But just being honest, I'm burned out with a lot of things, man. Since I've been taking the spiritual path, a lot of things really I just kind of like been falling off of me. Things that I used to have a lot of interest in, like you believe it or not, I'm not. I've lost my. I'm not really just a big gamer like how I used to be. I don't really care too much for a whole lot of secular things anymore right now and most i might do is i'm working on creating my art <clears throat> my art but my, my art my music my drawings the programming you know i'm wishing on the first video i'm working on the video game now finally the video game a database application part of my programming courses so right now you know i think i've made my peace with everybody that i needed to on social media you know my brother's I mean, you know, it was a lot of negativity going on with my family and I, you know, it was a lot of miscommunications, misunderstandings, and a lot of messed up stuff was said. But the good thing was, all of that, you know, that was taken care of, it's been repaired, and now we, we're good. You know, I, I still don't come around as much as I should, but I got so much stuff I got to get together, I don't want to be going around people. And I don't have my stuff together, you know. I don't want to be that family man. Oh, he still ain't got his shit together, you know. I said, no, I'm not going to be that one. I've already been the black sheep. I will not be the charity case. So I got so much other stuff that I got going on right now that this social media shit really just don't serve no purpose no more. And, man, I mean, like I got a gold tooth for some shit. Anyway, one of the things that you... You have to think about when you're looking at social media. I found myself just sitting there like almost what you would call brain dead somewhat. You're just sitting there scrolling for an hour or two, looking at silly posts, looking at silly shit, arguing with somebody, talking about what you agree on. What this, I don't like blue. I think red is the color because of this political. All this stuff is really, man, it's a ruse. You know, you sit up and you waste all your time on social media. It's enough. I'm going to be honest with you. Compared to video games, social media is garbage, yo. I'm going to be straight up with you. I got to say at least I got some kind of a mental exercise and hand-eye coordination with social media. You know, I mean with video games, I got nothing with social media. You know, a bunch of, you know, bull crap. I don't, and I'm talking all the way from my, my from the MySpace period up to when Facebook took over. It's just been the same shit. You know, Facebook was MySpace was doing the shit first. You know, 
Man, next thing you know, before Facebook, it was another application. I forgot. Six feet or something. I forgot the name of it, but it was the precursor to MySpace. It was the precursor to Facebook. And I'm going to be honest with you, all this shit does the same thing. It's just different advanced versions of it. So, for me, you know, there have been times I've actually set up and wasted almost an hour, up to a couple of hours. I could have been doing something else. Just scrolling, you know, trying to reach out to people that really ain't even seeing shit to me. And that's another thing, too. That's This is the only time I actually seen an application where you could have thousands of friends and not have friends. What kind of backwards-ass shit is that? You know, I, I, it's just garbage, man, you know. Me, as far as, now, when you're looking for work, if you're trying to keep get yourself a job, you're trying to get a career, then I can see you doing something like that. And then, even then, you got LinkedIn. Look up LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a social media pl platform for people that are looking for work, you know, and it's trying to find a really cool job. You know, that's how I find some of my stuff. Other than that, there ain't no real reason to be sitting around playing with no social media all day, man. That go for young folks, too. All that old false illusion shit. You throwing away a good portion of your life just playing around. Then you send, you know, people put, put out the false, you know, perceptions of their life, trying to make themselves look a certain way, knowing damn well your life is probably hell. Not to say that it's always the same, but I'm past that point now, you know. So I'm working towards now. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have a website set up. So that way I won't. That was one of the reasons why also I had I was using social media as a way to promote my art, my music and everything else. And really, to be honest with you, that's kind of a sort of a good way. But you get more done if you got yourself a website and you got your own separate platform. That way you got control of uh, what they call the contents and the, the flow of traffic to your to your information. See, places like so, like Facebook or Instagram or any, Twitter or any of that stuff, they got the abilities to control things. You know, they still control shit now. But when you on social media platforms, they really can tell you what you can and can't do and what you can and can't say. So that right there is what I'm tired of also. I got tired of my articles being taken down, even though they were true, but because it goes against, you know, Zuckerberg's standards, even though it could be a fucking lie. It still don't get posted, you know. So, at this point, like I said, I'm, a lot of things have changed for me. You know, mentally, I get when you get in your 40s, man, things have changed. If you don't, something's wrong. I don't feel like I need this stuff no more. I'm tired of it. It don't really serve me no purpose. And right now, I got other things going on that I'm not going to, you know, put on this video. It's not anything negative, but... Let us say that it's more important things to do to sit around scrolling, liking, disliking, looking up shit, and trying to reach out to people that even when you send them requests and talk to them, don't nobody say shit. You know, like, people be telling me, like, oh, my uncle was here, he was there, or, Jeff, you know, uncle such and such was here, auntie such and such was there, he, okay, that's cool, motherfucker didn't reach out to me, all right, we on social media now. This is the information age. If you want to contact the person, you know how to contact the person. There's no excuse for not being able to contact the person. Hell, you can reach a person who ain't even got a damn phone. That's just how this technology is all over the place. So if you really want to contact me, you know how to reach out to me. So I don't don't I don't want to hear nothing else about people want to contact me. You trying to reach out to me. You're on Facebook. You see my shit on Facebook. I you know, if you were really concerned, you would be concerned and you try to reach out. Save it. You know, I don't have the patience for it. I really don't. People get on my nerves with their contrivances and silliness. So you probably wouldn't like being around me anyway because I don't really have a tolerance for a bunch of negativity and bull crap. So, you know, it's just time. It's time out, man. And it's not anything negative. It's not anything I'm upset about. It's just, you know, certain shit just get old. You know, like it's kind of almost like when I was working this job, I was working. I was working out at a FedEx supply chain. And I ain't trying to put the business out there, but it's a very negative place, man. You know, it's a lot of negativity out there. And I know I still got people out there that work out there. I ain't trying to be, you know, negative and say anything or look down on the job. 
But it was just so much negativity out there, man. You know, it was all kinds of negative going on. You got snake shit going on. People smiling your face, trying to stab you in the back, trying to, you know, they'll screw you over for a little small position. A damn position that don't even matter, you know. They, you know, they mismanaged. Well, I would say it was just a whole lot of things that I'm not even going to go in there. I would say that for me, the job, it was the people that made the job bad. It was already enough that I was sitting around loading boxes all the damn day. Our area never seemed to have work. But as I left, all of a sudden, the work came, you know, but that's neither here nor there. Again, it was just a place I came in my mind when I was at work one day. I looked at the shit and I was like, you know what, well, fuck this, I'm done. I don't feel like doing this no more. I don't even want to come to this job no more. I felt that and I acted on it. A lot of people say that was got a reckless. That was right. Look, fuck that. Your mental peace and spiritual health is way more important than a dollar bill. All right. That's why you got so many people, high blood pressure, high ten hypertension, heart attacks and all this shit, stressing themselves out for a job, you know, trying to live a lifestyle that, you know, really shit to each his own. I put it to you like that. But just like how I got tired of the job I was on, I'm just tired of the social media. And plus, I don't know, I have some, for some strange reason, I just feel like this is the end for Facebook. I feel like this shit is, you know, ain't no, what's getting ready to come now, man, people really ain't gonna have time to be sitting around on Facebook bullshit no more. Because if any of the stuff that's supposed to happen in 2023 goes on, last thing you wanna do is be sitting on the damn social media posing and doing silly shit, you know, taking pictures and selfies and shit, you know, doing all that offensive shit. Ain't none of that shit gonna matter when you out there trying to get a plate of food and all that. So, you know, for me, it's most serious things is getting ready to come in here and I ain't really just got time for the silliness no more. So, this will be one of the few videos that I will put out as this year comes to an end. Because I'm going to be focusing on more of myself, more as an artist, more as, more as everything, really, to be honest with you. But that's all I have to say on that. I'm about to get ready to head into this location here. Y'all take it easy. Look for the next video.